Hello everyone, you know me already, I'm Eric Tchaikovsky and you're watching my blog on YouTube about war in Ukraine. This blog for people who doesn't want to be involved in the war, in the war of uh, Walter Lita, in the war of kleptocrats and oligarchs. And for honest people who just want to save their families. We are moving from one place to another. Uh, we're trying to hide in the forest and woods because the military very, very rooted at the moment. They try just to collect, to pick up all men. Doesn't matter from 18 till 60, even if you without hand or leg or your handicap or you're blind and deaf, doesn't matter. They want to pick all of you to army for fight. And it looks like it's a big, big crime. Hi, this is Greg Fote. Uh, this is a slight departure from my usual show. It's a bit more somber. I have a friend in the Ukraine who's a DJ, journalist, broadcaster, and I obviously been in contact with him recently to find out if he's okay. Uh, when I first spoke to him, he was hiding out in, with his family in the parking of the apartment building he lives in. And he's since been on a train and uh, got to the, the Romanian border of the Ukraine. He's been video blogging, uh, vlogging basically on my request so we can f find out a bit more what's going on and also just to see he's, he's okay. Ultimately I'd like to get him to come over uh, to the UK and to stay with uh, me and my family um, and uh, do a show for Soho Radio but uh, they're not letting men out of uh, the Ukraine at the moment so it would only be his uh, wife and child that would be able to leave. But I'd rather he did the talking, so I'm going to play the YouTube video for you now. And yeah, if anyone wants to get in contact or subscribe to his channel, we'll be giving some details at the end of the show. So this is introducing Eric Tchaikovsky and his journey from the war zone in Ukraine. What a life. Kind of joke. Life is kind of a joke. Really. Just... Uh, 15 minutes ago, our neighbor knocked at the door and said, better you man uh, leave the place where we stay. It's very small, very small uh, place on the suburb of a very small town. Kind of hidden location. But, and uh, our neighbor, she said that uh, the military uh, searching for men all around the places. And here we go, grapes, very beautiful evening walk.
And I want to say to the guys and girls who are sitting on their sofas with a, a tasty, fat, juicy Big Mac in their mouths with Coca-Cola and a peaceful atmosphere, no bombs falling around you, and you're typing just messages on Facebook or Instagram about you have to kill all Russians. Are you crazy? Are you kind of who you are? Why are you talking about someone should kill someone like Russians, Ukrainians, uh, Jewish, doesn't matter. If you say that, the next people whom you will kill, their kids will say they should kill you as well. And this will be like for ages and ages and ages. Some people saying uh, Russians uh, killed my grandmother, grandfather. I also had like a Polish guy also had living in Ukraine some terrible situation to tell. but. What for to uh, pray for revenge and always say we should like do something? If you want to do something, just pick up your fat ass from your sofa and go to war to Ukraine, go to Mariupol and save civilians instead of telling bullshit, typing bullshit and getting just fatter and fatter. Just be smart. Don't pray for killing anyone. Pray for peace and for lives of ordinary people. Uh, that kind of same as you are who is watching my video. This is very important to understand. I remember I used to live in Germany in 1991, 1996. And I remember I rocked in Würzburg in a place called Zauberberg. It was a kind of nightclub and bar. And we rocked in the basement with my best German friend, Arthur Ruth. He was a welder at this time. And uh, we did some constructions for this club and for different stores in Würzburg. I just uh, kind of helped him. And during our work, uh, we talk a lot in a, on a very philosophical topics. And I remember I was saying I've been 20 years old guy and I 21 years old guy and I said to him like I'm very against of uh, military I'm very against of army and I believe uh, people should not go to army as it used to be always in Soviet Union or Ukraine you have uh, to go 3 years to navy or 2 years to army and I said the best uh, solution in all that situation it's uh, to make it like that you have to go when you become 18 years old you have to go for three years to different countries uh, with different mentality compared to your own land if you live in ukraine for example you have to go to iceland or uk or to, to africa some other places and you have to stay there three years trying to survive and doing some kind of job learning language learning culture and it would be like kind of cultural exchange, but uh, you should not go to army and uh, to learn how to kill people. You should learn some other things, how to help people, how to build communications with all these people. It was kind of like utopia, but uh, I still think it's a good uh, thing if people would learn how to do this. Three years since you're 18, you should go to some other places. And after that, it's your own decision. You can come back to your home or you can build just new home at the place where you're living in, in your new place. They have such opportunities to do this, I don't know, crime. Just to say me some stupid things I have to do. I don't really want to do what you force me to do. I have my own plans. I don't depend on your, I don't know, country, land, whatever, ideology. I'm on, on my own. I'm an island, you know. Respect me, please. I trust only me, only myself, only my surroundings, but not any president, not any politician, not any army. Thank you.